Hey everybody, Animal Man here. Today I'm going to show you the survival and emergency items that I keep in my car. Stay with us. So here's what we're looking at. This is the back of my car. It's a uh, Hyundai Santa Fe. And uh, first of all, when you open the trunk, you see several things. I've got this Army Navy wool blanket that I always keep back here for an emergency to keep warm, for moving things, all kinds of uses for that. And then I've got a full toolbox. And then I've got my first aid kit here. So these are things that I use quite commonly all the time. I always want them accessible. I'm going to move them out of the way to show you what's underneath these panels. Here's where the really cool stuff begins. All right. So in the Hyundai Santa Fe, this is the 2009 model, by the way, you've got these two panels in the trunk that pop up. And the smallest one, I keep normal kind of car emergency things. These are not survival items per se, although some of them surely could be. But these are things that I would use if the car broke down. I've got the kit to lift the car up and jack it up to change the tire. I keep emergency flares in here. I've got parts for one of my inverters to hook this up directly to the battery if I want to run a higher wattage item, higher wattage electronic thing from that inverter. I've got a gas siphon, 10 inch emergency glow stick, extra ice scraper. I've got a kit to repair holes in the tires. These are great patch kits extra valve caps, four-way tool with uh, four valve cores for the tires, and I've got this really cheap, like I think it's a dollar or two from Harbor Freight, extra light, also magnetic. And also over in here I've got a can of Fix-A-Flat, extra windshield wiper, you should always have an extra wiper in the car, in my opinion, air pressure gauge, it's also for the, the gas siphon. Got a small Harbor Freight Pittsburgh air compressor and all the different attachments for it, just in case. That shouldn't be a primary compressor, just a backup compressor. And that's it. That's it for this section. All right, guys, now for this big compartment here. Let's get this propped up. Here's all the good stuff, all the goodies you've been waiting for. So first of all, in this small compartment over here, I've got a Black & Decker 500 watt inverter. This is my emergency inverter. And you can use up to 100 watts with this cigarette lighter plug. Then you've got the clamps to clamp it directly to the battery to use up to 500 watts. That's very useful. I always have several inverters here. Rayovac triple A's. Rayovac double A's. All right, in this small compartment over here, I've got a pack of 20 hand warmers. Another pack of 20 hand warmers. Got two two packs of emergency light sticks. Those are good for eight hours each. Some cold compresses. I've got them in the med kit too, but these are my extras. Got some extra hand warmers that I just had laying around. I threw them in here. Two more instant cold packs. These are old, they need to be replaced soon. A kitty fire extinguisher. And these are two 36-hour candles that I made from Crisco. Got a wick in the middle, Crisco. These are great if you have baby food containers. And I've got packs of matches, duct tape, not duct tape, electrical tape at the top for some extra lighting or heating. Now on to the main section. Keep in mind, guys, all the things I'm showing in this video are what I carry. They're not what you have to carry. They're just to give you ideas. So here I've got a four-piece takedown recurve bow that I built out of PVC pipe. That's for emergency self-defense if needed, but mainly because I just use it to have fun when I'm out and about. Got an extra fleece, fleece jacket, tow rope. Of course, most important thing, piece of gear in here, get home bag. Got a poncho. Three bottles of water. Keep them in the bags in case they freeze and leak so they don't get everything wet, but I've never had a problem. These have been in here. I've been doing this for years this way. Three more waters. So that's six. Three more waters. That's nine. 
got a hat, long socks, gloves in there in case it's cold. It's got some more heating pads. These are all different size ones. It's got two heat packs, um, the larger ones, I believe. So over here, hiking shoes, an extra pair of tactical 511 pants, long john tops and bottoms, SOG folding shovel, emergency lifeboat rations. These are spikes for if it's icy out, they, they stretch right over your shoes. I've got a whole bunch of MREs in here. So vegetable lasagna, Southwest style beef and black beans, beef roast and veggies, Mexican style chicken stew, chicken fajita, Mexican style chicken stew, and my favorite, the one and only, the infamous chili and macaroni. Now on this side, I've got two bunny burgers that I made. Bunny burgers are a really cool thing to have. I put them inside these Burt's Bees cans that way. I can close them up and also I can control the flame. Inside here is corrugated cardboard rolled up with wax dripped in all the holes. And they're a great emergency burner for cooking. I always keep mine in these so I can control the flame with these lids if I want it to be, you know, keep the lid off. If it's the hottest, you can have it go half, a quarter, whatever you want to adjust the heat output on here. And I always keep matches with these just in case you don't have another way to light it, which you should, and I do. So I have two of those. A whole bunch of cliff bars, because I love them. They store pretty well. I always keep a ton of these cliff bars in here. And then I've got these um, Datrex emergency drinking water pouches. I've got three, four, five, six, seven, eight of them. Now, with these, I got these at the Army, Army Barracks store near me, and I resisted buying these for a long time. Every time I went in a store, I'd look at them. I felt like I should buy it, but I felt silly. And I thought about it, and I figured out why it's good to carry them. You know why? Because I've got water bottles, too. Here's the reason why. If it's the winter time, and I need to get emergency water, those bottles are gonna be frozen solid. They're gonna take a long time to thaw them out. These are small. There's not that much water, that's true. But they're small and thin enough, I can stick them in my jacket against my body. My body, he can thaw this out pretty quick compared to those Poland spring bottles. That's why I have them in here. And last but not least, I've got Boston and Eastern Mass maps, Greater Boston maps, and then this is Western Massachusetts maps, and I've got more maps in the car too. So I hope you guys found this useful, give you some ideas. Like I said, by no means is this instructions for exactly what you should put in your car. Some people might not want these things if you're not as into survival and preparedness as I am. Um, some people might not have the space in their car to store these things. It's great that they can be out of sight back here, out of sight, out of mind, you know. If you like the video, guys, hit that like button, comment. Your comments are always appreciated. I read them all. And if you haven't yet, subscribe to Animal Man Survivor. Thanks a lot. Have a great day, guys. Got a pack of 20 hand warmers. What in the world? Got a pack of 20 hand warmers. Another, oh, on. Two cold compressors there. Oh, come on. Video is just not gonna happen. Now in this small compartment over here, I've got a pack of 20 hand warmers. Another pack of 20 hand warmers. So I hope you guys found this useful, get some ideas for you. Set my alarm off. What a putz. <laughs>